I must tell you uh, a story about objectivity in relation to Norman Lear, if I may. Um, I, of course, left the show uh, a, a year after Sally and Rob had left. And I had, like Norman and his active part uh, as well, sort of took off from there. And I had decided uh, we'd done everything we could and uh, there was time to go on or be buried as far as casting is concerned in this kind of part. So, so that was my decision. And a year later, I was on tour in a play. I was in Florida. Call came from Bud Yorkin and then from Norman that uh, his show called Archie Bunker's Place, which went on for four years, Carol chose that. Uh, they wanted to expand the stories, get him out of the bar where it was usually set, and uh, have him date women. So they have a, a greater variety of scripts. And um, they were calling, I guess, to ascertain that I truly wasn't interested in returning, maybe. And um, did I mind? Uh, we, they, and I said, no to, to Bud, no, of course not. And then Norman called. And uh, he said that they had been having meetings with CBS, and he was the last one to, he could not say yes to allow Edith to die, you see, in a script, so that Archie could get on with his life. Well, he, uh, Norman said on the phone, I, I cannot, uh, I just haven't been able to say yes to this. So I, brought it down to this. I said to Norman, Norman, you realize, don't you, she is, uh, is only fiction. There was a long pause, and I thought, oh, I've heard this dear man that I love so much. And then the voice came back, to me, she isn't. But shortly thereafter, he gave the word, and they made Edith die. And here's a little postscript. I was in Winston-Salem to uh, attend and play a part in the opening, a reopening of an old theater down there, which they were naming after Roger Stevens. And, and I was in the hotel the night this episode aired. And it, Carol did a great job. He, he came home uh, after a long time away, a visit came home to the house and he found, of course knowing, after the funeral and all that, he found one of Edith's slippers under the chair in the living room, his chair, and he, uh, he did a whole monologue to this slipper. It was very moving. He was marvelous. So I'd seen that in, that night in Winston-Salem. The next morning, the maid entered the room she saw me and she dropped her jaw and said, my God, I thought you were dead. <laughs> now, now, were you asked at all to, to play a death scene? No, like no, 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 it was in the story. She died off, I guess, visiting the kids or something. Oh no, I'd been away from the show for a year.